warm welcome to the 2021 Irish Young Philosopher Awards and the inaugural International Philosopher Awards. The Young Philosopher Awards are now in their fourth year after being launched in 2017 by the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. The Young Philosopher Awards includes both the Irish Young Philosopher Awards and also the International Young Philosopher Awards. The Irish Awards invite students from across Ireland and Northern Ireland to participate in the Irish Awards. And students from any country across the world can participate in the International Awards. The Young Philosopher Awards brings together philosophers, primary and secondary school students and teachers to think about and discuss both timeless philosophical questions and the most important issues of our time. We congratulate all those hundreds of young people who entered the awards this year for their outstanding work. We hope you have enjoyed looking at all those projects displayed on the event site that represent those who made it to the finals this year. Trace Limi live illig a charge. Agus ta sula gwin galan hig shivar of lesh on vial sunach a machan sha. Agus anish gan hilam wille boal in fall she chalig a char riv uptera on the heron mi hal di yo higin. May I say what a great pleasure it is to have this opportunity to take part in the fourth annual Young Philosophers Awards. Sabina and I are so glad that this project, with whose beginning we were associated, is not only flourishing, but extending. Since their inception, these awards have impressively demonstrated the wealth of creativity and the great willingness to question and explore the status quo that exists amongst our young people when given the opportunity this year is no exception, and I thank and commend all those who have submitted their thoughts and ideas, producing work that is thought-provoking and reflective, asking important and fundamental questions about the way we live and the core values that define our society today. The projects have been impressive in their originality and their breadth and commitment to use the full range of philosophical thought and practice. Indeed, I understand that 500 students have submitted between them 200 projects. And I was greatly impressed by the range of themes covered and the many most basic, enduring, challenging and creative questions posed by these young entrants. Issues examined and reflected upon include contemporary issues, such as how to create a sense of belonging in our society. In what ways can we work together to combat intolerance and to protect our environment? How can we use technology ethically while remaining responsible and respectful of the rights of others? And of course, what shape and form will our society take in a post-COVID world? However, and it is so important, the classical issues of philosophy are also there. I am delighted that this year also sees the inauguration of the International Young Philosopher Award, extending the reach of this important event beyond our shores. Participants from Germany, Mexico, the Netherlands, Romania, Russia, Turkey and the United Kingdom have responded to the invitation, submitting work that is imaginative, thoughtful and demonstrates a real will to make a contribution to their understanding, which will help make possible a reflective pluralist base for policy and practice in their communities and their society. The theme of this year's international award is solidarity, a principle that must lie at the heart of any aspiration towards global citizenship in a world of peace and multilateral responsibility. Again, the questions posed are imaginative, curious, and show a profound awareness of public concern on so many issues and the need for solidarity on the measures we must take together if we are to advance in our efforts to solve some of the world's most urgent problems. We are currently, here in Ireland, across the globe, living through an unprecedented time. It has been a time during which the spirit of solidarity has been invoked, indeed has been so critical, in enabling us to meet the challenge of the coronavirus pandemic. In countries around the world, 
We have heard of citizens who have made extraordinary sacrifices for the greater good, placing themselves in the vulnerability of others and working collectively to protect those who are most susceptible and at risk. That spirit has provided a most inspiring light, guiding us through the darkest of days as we navigate our way towards the better future that we must make together. As with all moments of crisis, the coronavirus pandemic has presented us with some opportunities as well as devastating problems. It will be a benefit in a strange way if it turns out to be a catalyst in prompting the fundamental questions we must now ask as to how we live our lives and the core values on which we wish those lives to be based. Here in Ireland, we've been impelled to question the way we work, the kinds of work we value, the structure of the communities in which we reside together, the priorities on which our decision-making processes are based, and what we can indeed must do to change if we are to craft a better shared future. We might, with benefit, ask ourselves, however, why it has taken a crisis of such magnitude to prompt reflection on the assumptions by which we have lived. The absence of critique of inadequate institutional arrangements and the reluctance to ask those fundamental questions that are so critical to the ethical evolution of any society. Why are we only now, for instance, questioning the nature of work in our society? Work as human expression, work as functional necessity, work as means of survival. The relevance of traditional working models in a technological age. And so importantly, the impoverishment of family and community life that occurs when the economic interests of the workplace are prioritised ahead of the welfare of those employed within it. Why is such scrutiny and appraisal not a permanent and ongoing feature of our shared lives as we aspire to not only create but maintain and ensure the flourishing of societies that are ethical in their structure and generous in their accommodation of the needs and diversity of all their citizens. The locking of such questions into separate silos has left us without visionary or indeed ethical options in so many instances. Aristotle, as many of you will know, has stated that philosophy begins with wonder Philosophy, in other words, is rooted in our human disposition to ask questions. If we lose or neglect that capacity to question, to critically evaluate, we can all too easily drift down a precarious road, leading to a society where citizens become passive observers rather than active shapers of its evolving structure and form. That is why the study of philosophy is so greatly important as is the facilitating of structures where philosophers do not debate primarily with each other but extend those discussions beyond the academic sphere and out into society, partaking in the decision-making processes that shape that society. What price, we might ask, have we paid for removing a philosophical context from theoretical work, be it in economics, the history of science, the application, access, and consequences of technology. We are sleepwalking. That is where the young philosophers become our hope. Those with philosophical training can have and must have the courage to assume a critical role to play in our workplaces, our communities, our policy, and regulatory institutions. And in all areas of our shared existence, bringing the right questions to the table, the difficult and often awkward questions to which there is sometimes no single correct answer. Philosophy, when broadly thought, in terms of theory, method and discourse, can teach us to debate with wisdom and respect, to understand alternative viewpoints, and may I say to realise that the replacing of old forms of intolerance with new ones does not in any way signify the creation of a progressive or more open, broad-minded or democratic society. Your generation will be central to the crafting of a post-COVID world. What will be the role of universities, of free thought in that world? How important your role is and will be. That is a great responsibility, but also a great opportunity for young, engaged citizens equipped with the intellectual tools to address the great challenges of our time. 
and not only unafraid to question what many have perceived to be unchangeable inevitabilities, but to offer the alternatives informed by this year's chosen great theme, solidarity, as we envisage the societies that might emerge from the COVID crisis and begin to lay their foundation stones, it is critical that we do so in a spirit of that solidarity, our minds focused on the importance of collective responsibility. We must recognise the role of the entrepreneurial state with new forms of social protection, implementing all of the measures, for example, in the social pillar of the European Union, in creating just societies and sustainable economies, and the importance of a welfare state as a support to citizens, not merely in times of need, but as citizens with a right to flourish. To all of you, may I offer my thanks. The reflective and imaginative work you have submitted for this award marks you out as young people who not only understand, but aspire towards an authentic version of citizenship and one beyond borders, it is my great hope that you will continue to re reflect on what is required if we are to live in a democratic shared space. How nurturing the spirit of philosophical inquiry is so essential for that, and how that has brought you here today. May you with joy grow in awareness of self and others as you develop all those ideas and concepts that can bring about the real transformation from which all now and in the future, can benefit. Verbanok don taoki is mila buik. First, we begin with the awards for the Irish Young Philosopher Awards. We will announce the awardees for the 2021 Irish Awards and will then proceed with the awards ceremony for the International Young Philosopher Awards. We will then conclude with a dedication to the awardees of the special COVID-19 Ethics Prize from 2020. To begin the Irish Young Philosopher Awards ceremony, we will announce the winners of each category by age group first. I would now like to invite Dr Anya Mahan to present the first categories for the 2021 Irish Young Philosopher Awards. Our first category is fifth and sixth class in primary school. The runner up for the fifth and sixth class primary category is class 5A St. Killian's German School in Dublin for their project, What Makes a Good Team. And the winner in the fifth and sixth class category for her project is Race as Social Construct is Savannah Phoenix Munro, who's in fifth class at John Scotus National School in Ballsbridge. Very well done, Savannah. Also highly commended in the fifth and sixth class category are Emma Hanna, Jack Hayes, Zoe McCarroll, Alex Savage, and Matthew Toomey for their project, What Are Gender Stereotypes and How Do They Define Us? from sixth class in St. Andrew's College Junior School in, Bra in Blackrock. Also highly commended is Cara Griffin for her project, Is Going Back to Normal from Lockdown a Good Thing? And Cara is in fifth class in John Scottis National School, also in Baldbridge. Also highly commended for her project, How Do We Know That History Is True? is Sarah Fay from sixth class in St. Andrew's College Junior School in Black Rock, County Dublin. Our second category today is first and second year in secondary school. The equal runners up in this category are Finna Hales. What is the difference between telling a lie and keeping a secret? And Finna is in first year in Cork Educate Together Secondary School in County Cork. And Sam Quinn O'Flaherty for his project, The Relationship Between Law and Morality. And Sam is in first year in Gwail Colosh on Fiersig in North Farnham, County Dublin. And the winner of this category for a project entitled What is Reality? 
is Shane Collins, who's in second year in Temple Carrick School in Greystones, County Wicklow. So very well done, Shane. Highly commended in this category is Michael Horan for his project Quantum Immortality. Michael is in second year in St. Conlet's College, County Dublin. Eve Sebastio for Life After Covid, Will Our World Ever Be The Same? Eve is in second year in Cork Educate Together, Secondary School, County Cork. Our third category today is third and fourth year in second level. The runner up in this category for his project, are intentions more important than outcomes when judging whether actions are morally justifiable, is Toby Burns, who is in third year in Gonzaga College in County Dublin. So well done, Toby. And the winner in this category for his project on the Callum Cosmological Argument is James Garavan, who's in fourth year in Glenstall Abbey School, County Limerick. Very well done, James. Highly commended in this category is Carmen Foote for her project Designer DNA, what it is, its possibilities and its flaws. Carmen is in fourth year in Loretto Bray, County Wicklow. Gabriella Ronan for her project, Are You Sure? The Role of Uncertainty in Life. Gabriella is in fourth year in Mount Anvil Secondary School in Goatstown, County Dublin. And Farah Abdullah for her project, Is True Beauty Subjective or Objective? And Farah is in fourth year in Our Ladies Grove, Goatstown, County Dublin. Also highly commended is Des McMahon for his project, Is It Better for Life to Have Meaning? And Des is in fourth year at Gonzaga School in Ranelagh, County Dublin. Also highly commended is Daniel McGlynn and his project, Is It More Important to Be Liked or to Be Respected? Daniel is in third year in Temple Carrick School in Greystones, County Wicklow. Also highly commended is Shifra Delaney for her project, Is There Such a Thing as Original Thought? Shifra is in fourth year in the Theresian School in County Dublin. Also highly commended is Justin Ikwu for his project, Can the Act of Giving Be More Harmful Than Helpful? Justin is in third year in Gonzaga College in Ranelagh, County Dublin. Our fourth category is fifth and sixth year senior level. And in this category, the equal runners up are Costanza Savoia for her project, Los Naturel. Costanza is in fifth year in John Scotus Secondary School in Rathmichael, County Dublin. And Shane Burke for his project, Are Innovation and Economic Growth Necessarily Positive? What are their consequences on our happiness and our political philosophy? And Shane is in fifth year in CBS Dungarvan, Skullamraher, County Waterford. The winner in the senior category, we're delighted to announce is Connell Devlin for his project, Can Man Live in a Godless World? And Connell is in sixth year in Manskull Garman in Enniscorthy, County Wexford. Very well done, Connell. Highly commended in this category is Robin King for the project, Is Freedom More of a Bad Thing or More of a Good Thing? Robin is in fifth year in St. Dominic's College in Cabra, County Dublin. And Nicholas Moulders, How Should One Live? Nicholas is in fifth year in East Glendalough School, County Wicklow. And Rian O'Connell, In today's world, is it ethical to be a billionaire? From fifth year in Pubble School in Trinoida, Yall, County Cork. Thank you so much to Dr. Mahan and warm congratulations to all those incredible winners. I would now like to invite Professor Christopher Cowley to present the individual, group and class awards. Individual prize. The runner up is Colonel Devlin. Can man live in a godless world? Sixth year, 
Manscoil Garman, Enniscorthy, County Wexford. The winner is Emma Power. Is there such a thing as ethical clothing? And if so, what is it? Second year, Muckross Park College, Donnybrook, County Dublin. Highly commended, Sam Quinn O'Flaherty. The relationship between law and morality. First year, Gwail Koloshte and Fierseg, Rathfarnham, County Dublin. Small group prize. Equal runners up. Presley, Yeke, Shari Irfan and Dylan O'Regan. Gene editing. Moral or immoral? Fourth year, Bishop Town Community School, County Cork. Sean Radcliffe and Makdara Hickey. Euthanasia. Third year, Gonzaga College, Ranala, County Dublin. And the winner is Ansha Venkatacharam, Saran Endemyargal, and Yulia Pisano. Can we have good without evil? Fifth class primary, John Scotus, National School, Ballsbridge, County Dublin. Highly commended, Erica Byrne and Sarah White. Why do we respect the dead more than the living? Sixth class primary, St Andrews College, Blackrock, County Dublin. The class prize. The runner-up is class 5B of St Killian's German School, Roebuck, County Dublin. Is dairy good or bad? And the winner is sixth class, Cahar Boys National School, County Tipperary. Technology. Can the social media platform TikTok be our portal into the world of philosophy? Thank you so much to Professor Carley and a very warm congratulations to all those amazing winners. I would now like to invite Dr Lisa Foran to present the Special Category Prize. Philosophy for our Time Prize. The runner-up is Megan Humphreys. Why is causing offence such a big fear today? Fourth year, Muckross Park, Donnybrook, County Dublin. And we have two equal runners in this category, Alana Rin, Does Democracy Work in the Modern Age? Alana is from fourth year, Maria Maculata Community College, Dunmanawe, County Cork. Joint winner is Killian Murphy. Can we justify an era of cancel culture? From fourth year, Gonzaga College, Ranla, County Dublin. In this section, we have Highly commended Emily Gaines for her project, Social Media is Freedom of Speech Causing More Harm Than Good. Third year, Temple Carrick, Greystones, County Wicklow. We are now at the very exciting final part of the award ceremony, where we announce the winner of the grand prize for the Irish Young Philosopher Awards 2021. The judges were looking for the following characteristics. Knowledge and understanding, critical thinking, philosophical analysis and argument, the ability to take into account different perspectives, good organisation, incredible imagination and originality, and where there was a project undertaken by a group or a class, collaboration between the members of that group or class. It is my great pleasure to now invite Dr. Lisa Foran to announce the runner-up and the winner of the final grand prize in philosophy for the Irish Young Philosopher Awards. And I'm delighted to announce the overall runner-up for the Irish Young Philosopher Awards is Emma Power. Emma's in second year at Muckross Park College, Donnybrook County, Dublin, and her project is titled is there such a thing as ethical clothing? And if so, what is it? And our overall winner for the Irish Young Philosopher Awards is Faith Ningjekwe, Artificial Intelligence. Should we grant AI human rights? If so, when? Faith is in third year at Our Ladies College, Green Hills, Drada, County Louth.
Thank you so much to Dr. Lisa Foran and warm congratulations to all of those finalists, as well as all participants and awardees in the Irish Young Philosopher Awards. And a very special congratulations to our overall runner-up and winner of the Irish Young Philosopher Awards. We now move on to the awards ceremony for the International Young Philosopher Awards 2021. This is the inaugural International Philosopher Awards ceremony. The International Philosopher Awards invites young philosophers from around the world to participate in this event. The Young Philosopher International Award is aimed at a specific theme for 2021, and that theme is solidarity. To begin the award ceremony for the International Awards, we will announce the winners of each category by age group first. I would now like to invite Dr. Yorgios Petropoulos to present the first categories of the 2021 International Young Philosopher Awards. The first category is a primary junior international prize. The runners up are from Hunandura National College, Romania, fifth grade, Donna Alexandra, can you be solidary and betray at the same time two persons or maybe the same? From Reading Girls School, United Kingdom, Year 7, Group 7RA, with a project entitled Solidarity with Coronavirus. And the winner is from Erkan Ulu Schools, Istanbul, Turkey, 6th grade primary, Alm Kilic Aslan, Chan Aydin, Emre Chok Verkit, Feza Yune Demiri Ontaz, Pelin Kotses, and Zeynep Naz Yilit. Their project has a title The Voice of Solidarity. Congratulations on this wonderful project. Highly commended Kusi Gurung, Anissa Anzari, Nora Alfaez and Michaela Lai. Their project has a title, Use of Solidarity, and they're year seven from Reading's Girls School, United Kingdom. Group 7GA, Podcast on Solidarity. Year seven, Reading Girls School, United Kingdom. Class 5A, Does Sewing Solidarity Affect Others' Rights? Fifth grade, Franconian International School in Erlangen, Bavaria, Germany. Next, we have the Intermediate One International Prize, first and second year. The runners-up are from Reading Girls School, United Kingdom, Year 9, Sindra Khatun, Asta Shinde, Taslima Suhuni Abbas, Haman Mumtaz Akram, Alisa Ward, with their project on solidarity and racism. From Reading Girls School, United Kingdom, Year 8, Sophia Chuakiso, Angel Ray, Ilaf Indris, and Ellie Mack, with their project on solidarity with racism. And the winner is from Reading Girls School, United Kingdom, Year 9, Hadija Bent Urfan. Ichaya Baterai, Sindra Ayub, Eunice Pan, and Simone Katka with their project entitled Solidarity. Highly commended Alex Clary, Naomi Penny, Haben Aklilu, Jack Faro, and Miranda Box. Their project has a title Is Solidarity Good or Bad Under False Pretenses? Year 8, Bristol Grammar School, United Kingdom. Mariam Ali, Pamela Chambua, Catherine Dowdell, Lillian Talabani, with their project on gender equality, their year eight from Reading Girls School, United Kingdom. Sruti Sresta and Stuti Care, Solidarity Inequality in Gender, year eight, Reading Girls School, United Kingdom. The third category is the Intermediate Two International Prize, third and fourth year. 
The runner-up is from Colegio Williams, Mexico, Hector Gillacha Ingle, Angel Nathan Garcia Campos, Fernanda Solis Camara Rosas, Sofia Alexandra Hernandez Hinojosa, Penelope Gonzalez Olvera, and Patricio Reyes Martinez Baca. Their project has a title, Can Solidarity Be Selfish? From Reading Girls School, United Kingdom, Year 10, Helena Gurung, Sophie Chivers, Talitha Sekomp, and Erin Gray with their project on solidarity. And the winner is from Gonzaga College, Dublin, Ireland, third year, Cormac Hannon. Does solidarity undermine individuality? Does solitude therefore provide more happiness? And from Gonzaga College, Dublin, Ireland, third year, Son Radcliffe and Magdara Hickey with their project on solidarity and social media. Congratulations to both. Highly commended. Ahmadev Timur. Can humanity as a whole work together toward the common goal? Eighth grade, Ledovo International School, Moscow, Russia. Ava Plankett. Can an attitude of solidarity help to promote gender equality in sport? Fourth year, St. Vincent Secondary School, Dundalk, County, Louth, Ireland. Congratulations. A very warm thank you to Dr. Protopoulos and warm congratulations to all of those awardees. I would now like to invite Professor Christopher Cowley to announce the awardees of the Senior Prizes. The fourth category, Senior International Prize, fifth and sixth year. The runner-up is, from John Scotus Secondary School, Dublin, Ireland, fifth year, Tiang Yizheng, Why We Struggle to Achieve Solidarity. And the winner is, from Letovo International School, Moscow, Russia, 10th grade, Andrei Binov. Where should we draw the line between individuality and solidarity? Highly commended. Anna Shushkova. At what point does a person express solidarity towards someone or something? 9th grade, Letovo International School, Moscow, Russia. Polina Savina. Can we use tolerance to build solidarity in our society? What can be the tolerance of the future? 10th grade, Latovo International School, Moscow, Russia. We are now at the very exciting final part of the award ceremony, where we announce the winner of the grand prize for the International Young Philosopher Awards 2021. The judges were looking for the following characteristics. Knowledge and understanding, critical thinking, philosophical analysis and argument, the ability to take different perspectives into account, good organisation, fantastic imagination and originality, and collaboration where the project was undertaken by a group or a class. And for the International Young Philosopher Award, we're also looking for engagement with the 2021 theme on solidarity. I would now like to announce the runners-up and the winner of the final Grand Prize in Philosophy for the International Young Philosopher Awards. The equal runners-up are sixth grade primary Erkan Ulu Schools, Istanbul, Turkey, for their wonderful project, The Voice of Solidarity. And equal runner-up, Andre Blinov from Latovo International School, Moscow, Russia for his excellent project, Where Should We Draw the Line Between Individuality and Solidarity? A very warm congratulations to the runners-up. And now, the winner of the 2021 International Young Philosopher Award is Sofia Yanas from Latovo International School, Moscow, Russia, for her excellent project, Short-Term Solidarity. Congratulations, Sophia, on your incredible achievement. A 
and warm congratulations to all those incredible finalists, as well as all those awardees and participants from across the world uh, who participated in the International Young Philosopher Awards. And a very special congratulations to the runner-up and winner of the International Awards, especially significant as this is the inaugural award. We now wish to add a special dedication in our awards ceremony to the awardees of the 2020 Special COVID-19 Ethics Prize. The COVID-19 Ethics Prize was undertaken during the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, where students engage philosophically with a range of issues related to COVID-19. I would now like to invite Dr. Anya Mahan to present the first categories of the Special COVID-19 Ethics Prize. Our first category is fifth and sixth class in primary school. The equal runners up in fifth and sixth class are Neil O'Moran for his project, Does COVID-19 Change Our Opinion of Low-Skilled Workers? Neil is in fifth class in Skolorcoin. And Timmy Casey for his project, The Ethics of Fame and Celebrity During COVID-19. And Timmy's in fifth class in St. Andrew's College in Dublin. And the winner in the fifth and sixth class category for the COVID-19 Ethics Prize is Sam Quinn O'Flaherty and his project, A Moral Dilemma, Who Gets a Ventilator When There Are Not Enough? And Sam is in sixth class in Gwaelskull, Cnoc Leivne. So very well done, Sam. Highly commended in this category are Ronan O'Moran for the project Why Should We Follow the COVID-19 Restriction Rules? Ronan is in fifth class in Skolorcoin in, Mon in Monkstown. And Fiona McCarthy for Is It Right to Call the Frontline Staff Heroes? Fiona's in sixth class in Moanfoon, County Waterford. Also highly commended is Tom Cox and his project what is a hero? Tom is in fifth class in Glebe National School. The second category for the COVID-19 Ethics Prize is first and second year second level. Our runner up in this category is Emily Gaines and her project, Who Cares About a Jellyfish in Venice? Emily is in second year in Temple Carrig School in Greystones, County Wicklow. And the winner in this category is Joe O'Grady for his project, Does COVID-19 Only Have a Negative Impact? And Joe is in second year in Gonzaga College. Very well done, Joe, congratulations. Highly commended in this category is Arlo Daly for his project, Can We Blame Others for the Effect COVID-19 Is Having on Our Lives? Arlo is in second year in Sandy Mount Park Educate Together Secondary School. Also highly commended is Sarah Kerwin and the project, Can We Prevent Diseases From Spreading If We Adopt a Vegetarian Diet? Sarah is in first year in Loreto College in Mullingar. So very well done everybody for, the, for this category. Thank you so much to Dr. Anya Mohan and congratulations to all those amazing awardees. I would now like to invite Dr. Lisa Foran to present the final age categories, as well as the individual, group and class prizes. Our next category is in third and fourth year from second level. We have two equal runners up in this section, Emma Brennan with her project, Do We Need Others to Be Happy? Emma is in fourth year at Old Bond Community School and she's co-runner up with Siobhan Ryan, for a project titled, Should the Government Enforce Lockdown Restrictions? Siobhan is in fourth year at Temple Carrick School, Greystones. And our winner in this section with the project, What Do We Owe Each Other? is Lily McCann. Lily is in third year at Temple Carrick in Greystones. In this section, we also have three highly commended projects. The first is Leon Riley, Searching for a Cure, Challenge Trials. 
Leon is in fourth year at CBC Monkstown Park. We also have Theo Papadopoulos with a project titled Thinking Ethically in the Context of COVID-19, Year 10, Abbey Christian Brother Grammar School, Newry County Down. And finally, Erin Ahern with Are We Really All In This Together? Erin is in fourth year at Pobble School in the Trinoida, Yall County Cork. We'd also like to make honourable mention of Michael Clark for his project, Philosophy. Michael is in third year in Temple Carrick. Our next category is for fifth and second year second level. Our runner-up in this section is Sam Enright with the project, How Much Is a Human Life Worth? Sam is in sixth year at Skerries Community College. And our overall winner is Oliver Grant with the project titled, how can individualism coexist with a global pandemic? Oliver is in fifth year at St. Mary's College, Rathmines. We have three highly commended projects in this section. The first is from Saskia Kirkland, with a project titled COVID-19, is utilitarianism the answer? Saskia is in fifth year at St. Andrew's College. Also highly commended is Daniel Kelly, with Should the HSE Buy PPE Made by Slaves to Save Irish Citizens? Daniel is in fifth year at Gonzaga College. And finally, Anne McAvoy with a project titled Should Employees with a Child that Has Special Needs Be Expected to Work from Home During Quarantine As Well as Being a Carer to Their Child? From sixth year at St. Andrew's College, Dublin. We'd also like to make honourable mention of Isla Walsh O'Neill's project, What's the Point, for third class primary. Our individual prizes are runner-up, Oliver Grant, How Can Individualism Coexist with the Global Pandemic? Oliver is in fifth year at St. Mary's College, Rathmines. And our winner of the individual category is Mira Henchi, what moral philosophy or ethical theory is best for government or society to apply in order to solve the coronavirus crisis, but is also the most morally right? From third year, Cork Educate Together Secondary School. In the small group category, our runner-ups are Ava McGowan and Ben Wade. Is it ethical? that the government are prioritising young people for hospital beds from third year in Temple Carrick Greystones. And our winner in the small group category are Amelia and Anna Bennis with a project titled A Bird in a Tree or Philosophy, My Planet and Me. And they're in fifth class, Skullwira Sandy Mount. We have two highly commended in this category. They are Patrick O'Callaghan, Matteo Moran and Oliver Walsh with the project titled Should We Limit Our Freedom to Help Others? And they are from fourth year CBS Mitchellstown Cork. And Jack Farrell, Charles Kelly and Jordan Whitfield with the project titled Are Natural Human Rights More Important Than Lockdown Restrictions? And they're in fourth and sixth year the Philosophy Society, Dominican College, Newbridge. In the category of class projects, our runner-up is St. Andrew's fifth class. How has COVID-19 impacted our environment? Fifth class, St. Andrew's College Junior School. And our winner in the class category is from Killian's School, sixth class, with the project titled, What Makes a Hero? Huge congratulations to them. Thank you so much to Dr. Foran and huge congratulations to all of those finalists and winners. I would now like to present the final categories for the COVID-19 Ethics Prize. First of all, the runner up for the most innovative philosophical prize. The runner up is Emma Power. Does the COVID-19 crisis affect everyone in the same way? Emma is in first year at Muckrock Park College. 
And now the winners, equal winners, of the most innovative philosophical prize is Emma Harris, Should We Shop Online During the COVID-19 Pandemic? Emma is in 60th at St Brigid's College, Loch Ray. And Zach North, How Should the Public Road Space Be Distributed? And Zach is in fifth class, Dublin 7, Educate Together National School. The highly commended mention for this category is St Brendan's College. Would it be ethical to return to how things were before COVID-19? This is undertaken by the SEM Film Project, St Brendan's College, Killarney, County Kerry. And finally, for an absolutely outstanding effort, I'm absolutely delighted to present the overall winner of the COVID-19 Ethics Prize is Lily McCann, What Do We Owe to Each Other? From third year, Temple Carrick School in Greystones. A very warm congratulations to all our awardees and finalists for the 2020 COVID-19 Ethics Prize. A huge well done to all of our winners and to all the students who took part. And a warm thanks also to the background support teams of fantastic teachers and fantastic parents. Agus Marokalskar, Bualin Buyachisokri, Agawal, Dar Uktaran, Agus Daban Kaila Saivin, Asadakiak, Agus Ahins Braid, Erfad. Gurmila Mahagwif. And that brings us to the close of the 2021 Irish Philosophical Awards and the International Philosophical Awards. We congratulate all of those students who submitted projects to the awards and we commend them for their incredible philosophical thinking and their creativity. And we hope that we have inspired you to keep thinking philosophically. We hope you will join us for 2022 awards where we'll have a new international awards theme as well as the Irish Philosophical Awards. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all of those finalists and to our incredible winners. <laughs>